Okay. Okay, so we're at the Mishnah on the Samach Tesam at Beis. Right? So there's a Koran Chagiga, right? There's three Korbanas that are brought. There's three Korbanas that are brought on every Yom Tif. Well, is well for Pesach at least. There's the Korban Pesach, there's the Chagiga, and there's really two Chagigas as we're going to see in the Gemara. There's a Chagiga if you don't have enough meat in the Pesach because you're supposed to shech the Korban Pesach with a Chabura. Right? So let's say there's uh, let's say there's not enough people in the Chabura to have enough because you have to eat the Chagiga, you have to eat the Korban Pesach ala Saiva when you're full. Right, so then you what you do is you'd also shech the chagiga, but that's the chagiga for the carbon to supplement the carbon pesa. But then there's also a chagiga that's a mitzvah of the carbon chagiga, and then that's besides for the carbon of the oilus ria, which the Gemara is not discussing. So the Gemara is going to say, so now this carbon chagiga is since it's a supplement of the carbon pesach, does it have the same halachas of the carbon pesach or not, or does it still is the shlamim, right? The, the chagiga is a shlamim, which we said a carbon pesach really is a shlamim too. Right, but does this chagiga that's there to supplement the carbon pesach get the status of a carbon pesach? That's pretty much what tonight's dav is going to be talking about. So zok the mishnah, yeah. Samach tesam beis on the bottom. Yeah, so zok the mishnah. Ema say maybe chagiga ema. When do you bring a carbon chagiga with the pesach? Bizman shu ba bechal. That's when you when pesach falls out during the week. The tahara and everybody's tahar uva muit, and you only have a, a few people. Right? Meaning not, no, the other way. You have a lot of people. Right? And Nemela, the Muat, meaning there's only a small amount of Korban Pesach for each person. And when it comes on Shabbos, the Meruba, when there's, when there's, uh, there's a lot of food from the Korban Pesach, meaning there's not so many people in your Chabura, Uva Tuma. And when it's a Tuma, then you don't bring the Chagiga. So basically, you only bring a Chagiga in very specific situations. Everybody has to be tar. There has to be a lot of people in your Chabura. And uh, what was the third one? And it has to be on a weekday. Right on Shabbos, you don't bring it. So, fine. It was man, again, so the Mishnah is saying two things. I mean, it's really repetitive. It says, it says again, let's start the Mishnah again. Emasai, maybe Chagiga, Ima. When do you bring the Chagiga with the Pesach? Man, shu, ba, bechol, betahara, u, when you bring it during the weekday, Tahar and Mamur was Manchu Baba Shabbos when it's brought on Shabbos, the Meruba, or there's a lot of carbon peso to go around. Uva Tuma, ain't maybe any Chagiga, you don't bring the Chagiga with it. Chagiga has a bum in Hatsain, you can bring the, the Chagiga from Tsain, min Habakar, from cattle, which is going to be interesting because if it's from cattle, the carbon peso cannot be from, from cattle, right? So it's going to be a little different. Min Akvasim, from the sheep, and from, from goats, and from goats, from males and females. And you can eat it for two days and one night. So clearly from this last, this last, um, this last din in the Mishnah, it's totally different. The halachas are totally different than the Karma Pesach. Karma Pesach has to be Zecharim, can't be Bakar, and the Karma Pesach is eaten for one night. That's it. Right? And this it gets eaten for two days and one night. Okay, so Zakti Gemara. Man Tana de Gatani Chagiga. Who is the Tana the Tor Chagiga? Now that's not, that doesn't mean like who is the Tana. What Shaykh is, the Gemara is really asking, what does this have to do with Pesach? Right? Why all of a sudden are we discussing um, Karban Chagiga in middle of, in middle of discussing Karban Pesach? So Gemara says, Tana har No, because the Mishnah said that carrying and bringing the Karban Pesach, the Loi Dochi Shabbos, is not Dochi Shabbos. Tani Nami Chagiga, the Loi Dochi Shabbos. And Chagiga is also not Teich Shabbos, right? That was one of the things that we said. You only bring the Karma Chagiga when the Karma Pesach is brought during the week, not on Shabbos. And this is what it's saying. When do you bring the Karma Chagiga? That's only when you bring the Karma Pesach during the week. Betara, and it has to be Betara, Uvemuet, and when there's not enough meat from the Karma Pesach to go around. Right? Okay, so that's why the Mishnah brings it in here, because... The mission was the previous mission was discussing things that are not Daikh Shabbos, and the Chagiga is not Daikh Shabbos either, so therefore we decided to discuss it. So I'm gonna ask, yeah, excuse me. So if I have a lot of potato salad and coleslaw, then I don't have to bring a Chagiga. 
I think it has to be Allah Saiva from, it sounds like, I think it's Mashma. It has to be Allah Saiva from, from, from Cardenas, carbon. No? From bu- That's what from it bu- sounds like, but you're right. Uh-huh. I don't know. What about, about ma- what about matzah? Right? Are you free yourself up on matzah? Is there a sheer amount? Is there a sheer amount? What? what saying? The amount of carbon Pesach you have to eat. You have to eat a kazayas. Well, no, you have to have a kazayas for sure. But so also, that mean? you have to be full. Yes, yeah, so you have to be full. No. Of what is what? What Aaron's saying is you have to be full from what is, is really the question, right? Right. Yeah. Right, exactly. I don't know about full from potato right. salad. Correct. It sounds like you have to be full from carbon, not 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 from coleslaw and potato salad, with vinegar, kosher base of vinegar, Nevada. Right. But, uh, <laughs> right. So uh, so um, yeah, I don't know. I don't know. We'll have to see. Yeah. If we don't see it in Pesachim, then hopefully by the time we do Chagiga, we'll get it. Okay, so Amar Ravashi, Shema Mino. So we hear from this Chagigas Arba also. Now on to the next Amid, Lav Chayvahi. We learn from this that the Chagigas Arba also is not a Chayv. The Isak that the Chayvahi Tesi B'Shavas or Tesi B'Meruv or Tesi B'Tuma. Meaning, if you hold that the Chagigas that's supposed to come along together with the Karban Pesach is a Chayv, then it should be Daicha Shabbos, and you should be bring it regardless of how many people are in are in the Karban, right? And also you should bring it even if you're Tomei, just like a Karban Pesach. Right? Fine. So that's what the, that so must be. It's not a chiv. It's only, it's optional. Yes. And then says, when me at me, my time at Asi. So then how come you're bringing it when, um, why are you bringing it when there's not enough meat to go around? Kedetani, Chagiga, Abama Pesach, Nechelas Tchilo. If you bring the Korban Chagiga together with the Pesach, you eat the Korban Chagiga first. Kedeshi Pesach, Nechal Ala Soiva, because the Pesach has to be eaten when you're full. Right? Um, so that's why. So you see from this that the reason to bring the Chagiga is to make sure you eat the carbon Pesach when you're full. You shouldn't eat the carbon Pesach when you're hungry. Right? Um, yeah. Now, is that a Isid or a Rabbonon? Not a Mitzvah or a Mitzvah or a To eat it, to eat it a la soiva. Yeah, so that's a, the Rishayin I already discussed whether that's a Mitzvah or a Mitzvah or a Tosis discusses it a little bit. Okay, so let's see. The way Rashi puts it, it's not quite ala soiva. It should be this is the completion of your svia. Therefore, Rashi says three times, Right. It means that if anyone, if everyone just got a kazayas of basra, that's not an achila. A regular Tuesday, you have more than a kazayas of basra. All right, so what are you saying? To have that's why the Chagiga is to have more buster before that. But it's the way Rashi puts it, the, the carbon pesach is not al hasoyva. You're not supposed to be completely satiated before the pesach. The pesach should be the svia. So you mean what I mean? The carbon pesach should should be the final, the final. That, that's the final touch. Yeah. Okay. So what I'm saying. So why is that different than al hasoyva? Has to be the way I, I understood Allah Saiva until now was you have to be full before you start the car. Right. I hear. Okay, I don't know. This is if, I mean, if you have a Khabura of four people for a carbon pesa, a quarter of a lamb is a decent amount, a, a large amount of meat. That would be Allah Saiva. You don't need right. to do that. Right. You can eat that straight. Beginning of Shulchan Ayrik, you start your carbon pesa. Good. I hear. I hear. Okay, right. Okay, very good. Let's see. And it gets eaten in the Shnei Yomim. So we say, Masnis and Deloike Ben Tema. Our mission is not like Ben Tema. The Tanya Ben Tema Oimer. Chagiga Habo Ema Pesach. Ben Tema holds that the Chagiga that comes with the Korban Pesach, Harei Ike Pesach. It's mamish like the Korban Pesach. And it only, you only eat it for a day and a night, like the Korban Pesach. But the Chagigas Chamisha also, right? That's the carbon Chagiga that you have to bring, the Shamay Chagiga. That gets two days and one night, right? Meaning he's saying that the carbon Chagiga of the Pesach gets, of the carbon Pesach gets the same status as the Pesach. And the Chagiga of the 14th, your Yoytzimba Meshum Simcha, right? So you, you can be Yotze, your Simchas Yomtif with this meat, 
but you're not going to be yoyt to the mitzvah of Chagiga of the 15th. You'd have to bring another one on the 15th to be yoyt to the Shami Chagiga of Yom Tif. Right? Would you to eat this, this Chagiga's Yudalad on Erev Pesach? Yeah, because you have to eat it with the Pesach. So you have to bring it Erev Pesach also. No, he's talking about the Erev Pesach. Not bring it. The Erev Pesach you eat at night, but can you eat this right. Erev? I don't know. I don't know. According to Ben Tema, it's whatever whatever the din is in the Pesach. It's a din in the carbon Pesach, no? Of uh, the Chagiga. Yeah, the Pesach, Pesach, you told specifically you can't eat it by day. Chagiga, you're not. Right. right. So, so I, I, I don't the know. Din, v'layla. Yoyim achad v'layla achad. Chagiga, there's no, no reason you can't eat it by day. Right, right. So the Gemara is actually going to discuss now how, how how much is it exactly like the carbon Pesach. Let's see. My time at the Bentayma, what's the reason of the Could Masi Rav Lachia Bre, like Rav taught Chia his son, it says you shouldn't leave over the carbon Pesach till the morning. Zeva Chag, how do we dash it? So the, the word Zeva Chag, right? Ze Chagiga, that's referring to the Chagiga. Ha Pesach, Kimashmoy. Ha Pesach is obviously Kimashmoy, is referring to the carbon Pesach. And the Torah says, so the, the Torah is basically bundling together Zeva Chag Pesach together with Zeva Chag, which stands for Chagiga. And Mamela says, So therefore, he's saying it's got to be Loyalin, it's the same din as the carbon Pesach, and you can't eat it for two days and one night. All right? So then the Gemara says, We know the carbon Pesach needs to be roasted. Does this Chagiga also need to be roasted or not? When did the Torah compare it to Pesach? That's for leaving it over at overnight, which you can't. But for roasting, not. Or it makes no difference. And uh, and you have to and you have to do it exactly. You have to roast it too. Then Toshima Halayla Hazeh Kuloi Tzli. Right? The good old Manashtana. Right? Everything is Tzli. That's referring to Ben Tema. Shema Mino. That you have to eat it Tzli. Because right, if you didn't have to eat it sleep, so then in the Manashtana, we'd have to change the Manashtana, right? The Manashtana is saying that we only eat sleep. How does that right? system know it's tamer? What do you mean? Otherwise, who is it? It's uh, Tanakama. No, because Ben Tamer holds that the carbon Chagiga has to be in roasted, just like the carbon Pesach. How is That's it a riot? How is it a riot? What? How is it a riot to Ben Tamer? Because, because if you hold, if you don't know like Ben Tema, then the Chagiga certainly doesn't have to be eaten roasted. If you hold that the Chagiga of Yudalid can be eaten for two days and one night, that means it does not have the din of a carbon Pesach. Right? So therefore, it could be, it could be cooked. Right? So since it could be cooked, it's, it's not the Halay Lohazeh, Kool Aid Tzli, it doesn't apply. So must be, it's Ben Tema, and Ben Tema holds that you, the whole thing is Tzli. Shema Minah. So that's what's saying that yeah, it must be it's bentema. So the Gemara takes it to the next step. Iboilu the bentema, right? According to bentema, yeah, ba min abakar ain't a ba min abakar. Can you bring it from from cow or not? Ba min an akevus ain't a ba min akevus. Can it come with females or not? Ba ba shtei shanim or ain't a ba ba shtei shanim. Can it be be two years old or can not be two years old? Right, a carbon pesach can has to be less than a year old. See, ki akshir one of the pesach lemidi da chila. When did the Torah compare it? How did the Torah compare it to Pesach? That's for eating. But for everything else, not. Or it makes no difference. Right, so she had to ben Tamey a lot of kashas, no? Ben Tamer. Oh, Very good. But we're asking the kashas on him. <laughs> okay, but yeah, okay. Maybe that's Taka. So Toshima, Chagiga haba ima Pesach. The Chagiga that comes with the Karim Pesach, Harehika Pesach, it's like the Karim Pesach. Ba min atzayin, ba ina ba min it comes from the Tzayin and not from the Bakar. Again, this is referring to the Chagiga. It comes from males, not from females. It has to be a, um, a year old. And it's not two years old. And it can't be eaten only for one day and one night. And it's only eaten sleep. And it can only be eaten for a Chabura, meaning the Kabar Chagiga needs a Chabura too. So man sham and lay the islay high svaro. Ben Tema, who's the one that holds it is? It's Ben Tema Shmami. No, Kulu Milsa Binon. So he needs everything, meaning it's got it's totally, totally like a carbon pesach. Shmami no. So that's what Ben Tema holds. Fine. 
Then we ask the next question. So according to Bentema, right, the Korban Pesach, you're not allowed to break the bone. You're ever on a lav if you break. According to Bentema, it would be a Doraisa, like the Pesach? Um, that's, that's, that's really what Taisus, that's a Machlokas in the Rishonim, whether it would be considered Doraisa. Even according to Bentema, I'm saying it would be a Machlokas. No, no, you're right. You're right, Taka. According to Bentema, it's got to be a Doraisa. That's what I would think, right? It, I mean, it depends. If, 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 he, if he holds it, it has to be the same, then I would think, you're right, I would think that that should be a derisive. I think, but I, I, I hear. I would think so. Fine. So, you have the Isser of breaking the bone or not? Yeah? In case anybody's um, joining us now with four wide lines down. Four wide lines. Yeah? Even though the Torah compared to the Pesach, Amar Kra, Bai, Bai Veloi Vechagiga. It says, Bai, you shouldn't break the bone of it, but not the Chagiga. I do my high Bai with Kosher, Veloi Vepasal. Maybe Bai refers to a Kosher, a Kosher Pesach, um, Kosher carbon Pesach, but not a Pasal, Veloi Pasal Uda Asal. Right? So that's the Shaila now. Does Ben Tema hold that you're allowed to break the bones of the Chagig? So Toshima, Sakin Shenimtsis Ba'arba Asa, a Sakin that that's you find a knife in the street on the 14th. So now the question is, is that is that knife possibly tummy? So do you need now the same the way it works with the uh, Kalim is the same as people. You shaft it during the day, you gotta wait till nighttime to use it. So the question is, does this was this knife tummy or tar? So we're saying any knife that's found on the 14th day in Yerushalayim. You can shecht with it immediately. Right? Um, now Rashi says, because the stomach, a person toiled it already, and uh, and he would have toiled it on the 13th, so that he would be ready to go for the 14th. Right? But that would be the din by a knife. But if you find the knife on the 13th, Shaino Mat will know you have to toil it again and then wait till the night. Because we're going to assume that a person's going to push off doing the mitzvah. Until until later, so we could assume he does. There's no reason for him to toggle the knife on the 13th. It's not going to become tar anyways till the night. Meaning, so what's his rush to do it in the morning? He could toggle it as long as he toggles it before shkia. He's okay, right? So if you find it on the 13th, then you have to toggle it again, or you don't know if it was toggled in the first place or not. Kaifitz, kaifitz, right? If you if you have a, a kaifitz, it's a large knife that's usually used to cut up the meat. Then whether it's the 13th or the 14th, um, you need to title it again. Right? So now why? Because the kaifits, we're assuming you're not going to use because the kaifits will break the bones of the animal. So the assumption is the person's not rushing to title it because he's not using it anyways for the current Pesach. So now money. Who is this Tana? Right? Why? What's the difference? If you the Sakin is Roy to toivel it for the Pesach. Kaifetz nami hachazi lechagiga. The Kaifetz also. You can use it for the Chagiga because the Rabbanon certainly hold that you could break the bones of the Chagiga. Right? They hold the Chagiga has different, total different halachas than the Pesach. El alav. So who must it be? The Ben Temahi. Must be Ben Temahi. Shmame no yesh po mishum shviras etem. And it must be that he holds that it is a broken bone issue. And therefore, nobody would ever have a reason to have this Kaifetz toivel. So that's why you would have to for sure toil this kaifitz again. Right? So then, so we see that Bentema holds and you're not allowed to break the bones of the Chagiga. Whereas it says, No, it's the Rabbanon. We're talking about where our Pesach was Chal Shabbos. So there's no Chagiga. So therefore, the kaifitz, there's nobody going to be able to do anything with the, with the kaifitz. Right? Again, according to Rabbanon, the carbon Chagiga, for sure you could break the bones. So according to Rabbanon, why do you have to toil it? You, you maybe the person why why do you have to toil it again? Maybe the person toil it in order to cut up his carbon chagiga, right? So we answer no, it's the rabbanon, and it's about on Shabbos. So there's no carbon chagiga, and then for sure this big knife that might possibly break bones is is um, not gonna nobody would toil it. Fine, but the Bahamut Ketani is safer. But the Seva says chalar ba'asulias b'Shabbos. If the fourteenth falls on on Shabbos, shaychet b'miyad. You shecht it immediately. Uva chamisha asar, and on the fifteenth shechet b'miyad, you you shecht it immediately. Nimtza kaifitz kshura l'sakin. You see 
I'm sorry, Nimtza Kofitz is Kofitz is the Kshur of the Shach Sakin. If you find that the Kofitz, the axe or whatever it is, is tied to the knife, Hariyu Kasakin, that's like a Sakin. Whatever it is, this the, the Sefer is talking about where it fell on, on Shabbos. That's Mashma that the Rasha is not talking about Shabbos. We said the Gemara's Teretz that the Rasha is talking about Shabbos, right? But how could the Rasha be talking about Shabbos if the Sefer is talking about Shabbos? Michlal, the Rasha Lapa Shabbos is Kinan, must be. That the Rish is not talking about Shabbos. Ve'elo, Sengmar says a different Teretz. Ve'elo Shabbat, now we're on Tamid Beis. Ve'elo Shabbat be Meruba. It's talking about where there were there were not so many people on the carbon, so therefore you didn't need the carbon Chagiga. And that's why you found this axe laying in the street. You wouldn't need it anyway, so therefore it's uh, um, you wouldn't need it, so therefore we're not going to assume that the guy toiled it. So I mean, how do you know? How do you know that the, this knife was found on the street is for a chaburo that's that has very few people and there's enough carbon pesos to go around? So the word changes. No, the we where pesos was being bought tumo. Saif saif, we know yada. How do you know? Right? Meaning, how do you know on the thirteenth that the that this, the carbon's going to be brought to tumo? So come how do you know that somebody's gonna how do you know all Kalyus is becoming Tomei? Right? So the miss, so we say no, the miss Nasi. It's talking about where the Nasi died. So the if the Nasi died, then everybody in Kalai Yisrael has to go to the, the Levaya and everybody's gonna become Tomei, and then they're gonna bring the carbon paste up anyways. So this is that one case, maybe, where the Nasi died on the 13th or the 12th or whatever. That's the one case ever. Okay. That's yes, what we're talking yes, about. Yes, that's the Shasatra. That's the Tadar Gutter. As, as, okay. as you touch the mace, I mean, it's, it's, the Nazi would have 10,000 people touch the mace. You don't have to touch the mace. You're Tommy automatically. If, you, if the Nazi dies, everybody becomes Tommy. Um, really? Everybody's like, well, see, Jacob, you said everybody has to go to the Levi. You, know? you have to go to the Levi, but who says Taka, everybody's going to become Tommy? They're gonna to take to the to the. Well, because Rashi court. says everyone has to go to the funeral. I don't know. I know, but Rashi, who says? But who says you become Tommy to go to the funeral? When Rashach was nifty, you couldn't even get into Bnei Brak. Right. I don't know, Taka. Rashi Rashi goes a step further. Rashi says mitzvah is should be Isaac. Isaac. Yeah. I know, but how can all Klaus all be Isaac? How can Klaus 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 be Isaac? The same way that this that Rashi dies on the thirteenth. <laughs> means it's Shasatrak. Or you could say that it's like the Mishnah from a few blot ago where that year they only had 30 people or 40 people. Maybe that's the year. If you really want to if you really want to say Shasatrak, that's would that be Roy uh, Tsibur? What? Would that be considered Roy Tsibur? If that's the Tsibur that was available. Really? I don't Doesn't know. Doesn't have to be Roy Klaustro? It, it seemed like that was Roy Klaustro then. That was bringing oh, the carbon Those are the people that went up to bring carbon paste on. It's they went to Chutzlarz for Yontif. They went to a program in Spain. Yeah. That's, actually That's actually the next Gemara. That's actually the next Gemara, Taka. But uh, <laughs> yeah, I don't know, Taka. I don't know. I don't know. I mean, Lachairi partaking, yes. We, the Pais can say that if you that if you participate in the Levaya, you still have to wash your hands, even if you didn't go within Dalit Amis. Yeah. Right? Now, not everybody agrees to that, but that's what it seems is the Hanhaga. But that's not because of Tuma. No, it doesn't, I mean, it's Tuma, but it's not actual Tuma. So I don't know, Taka. So I said, the Miss Nasi Amos, when did this Nasi die? Elam the Miss Beshleisha also, if you say that he died on the 13th, right? So then Sak and Lamali the Mitfali. What do you have to table it for? Everybody, he died on the 13th. Everybody's Tame anyway, so you use a Tame knife. Bella the Mispa Arba also must be he died on Erev Pesach. Right? So then Maishno Sak in the Matful, Maishno Kovitz Eloi Matful is. And why? What's the difference Sak in and Kovitz, right? The Mastama, he would need the. He would need the knife for the carbon Pesach, and we would need the Kovitz, the axe, or whatever it is, the large knife for the Chagiga. Right? So like Tricha, the Nasi Goises, and we get even more specific. The Nasi Goises Bishlaisha. So the Nasi was a Goises. He was, you know, you know, about to die on the 13th. Yeah. So now talk about talk about somebody who's Oiske Khajbin, 
right? A sakin, the chatzvek uh, matzal, so a knife is only one suffix in the guy's head, right? Maybe he dies and maybe not. If he dies, I don't need to toivel it. If he doesn't die, I need to toivel it. So then he's toivel it because of one suffix. But kaifitz, the trace sveki, lay matzalni, but a kaifitz is two svekas, right? Maybe he's going to die and, and then they're not going to bring it. Or even if he doesn't die, maybe I'm not, I'm not going to need the carbon chagi because I'm not. I'm going to have enough meat from the carbon pesach, right? So it comes out that a person is going to toivel a knife for one suffix. For two svekas, there's not enough reason for him to toivel a, a, a large knife, right? So if it's the tray sveki, leimat for late. It's two svekas, then he's not going to be toivel it. Fine. So that's basically. Remember, what we're Yaakov, I, yeah? I, 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 this might be a clutch kacha. But if the guy's going to be toivel himself for Yontif, or he makes a second trip to toivel the knife to the Caleb Mikvah, what, he doesn't go at the same time? What, what, is, like, what is the big issue for this guy? You mean he's going to the Mikvah anyway? He's toivel himself for Yontif. No. Gershon, you're muted. Why would he go to be toivel himself for Yontif? He's going to be Tommy Mace. No, he doesn't, he doesn't know. know. He doesn't Mace. know. Maybe well, you die, maybe spanky. Taka. No, but I mean, everybody goes to the mikvah before Yantiv? Chayev. Back then, back then, you were Chayev. Yeah. Back then, you were Chayev. Yeah. But, uh, yeah, but this is I think this is talking about the 13th. Right? Because on the 13th, he has to, he has to, uh, we have to toil both. Right? Also, I don't think a hot No, no, I'm sorry. No, you're right. It is talking about the 14th. The same you're right. Time. It is talking, it's talking about the 14th. It's Taka. I don't know. I don't know. What are you saying, Gershon? I don't think a person and a hack master should belong in the same body of water at the same time. Not at the, I didn't say at the same time, Gershon. I did not say that. I don't know. I'm not sure. Okay, I hear. Um, yeah. Fine. Um, okay, let's see. Right. Tanya, now you're very interesting, Gamora here. Tanya, Yehuda Ben Dursoy. Pirish Huva Dursai ben him and his son Dursai, Vahalach Yashalai Badarim. They went to the south. The Taka went to hotel program. Like you said, they left Yerushalayim. They were there by Yerushalayim. And they went, Tanya, they went, Yehuda ben Dursai, Pirish Huva Dursai. Him and his, his son was also Dursai. Dursai ben I. Dursai ben I. I mean, so his I son was named after his grandfather. I, no, his son was named no, after they're, his father. They're not, his son uh, was named after his grandfather. Not, not, not every Jew comes from Poland, contrary to what we think. Some of them come from. Yemen. It's not. It's not from anyway. Yemen. It's you. It's Yehuda Ben Dertai and his son. So his son's named after the grandfather. That's what I'm but saying. Right. That's what I said. That's all I said. His son is named You're after right. I, I hear Naftali yeah. Zahara because the, it doesn't. It, at what point, right? Yaakov Avinu didn't name any of his kids Avram. Right. Uh, right. My son's named after his grandfather. No. I understand. No, it's a it's a tumble exactly where it started in history that you name after previous right here in the Gemara, right, right here, here in the right this Gemara is Mashmaza. But the others didn't. Moshe didn't name any of his kids after Chveis uh, Yaakov. Aaron or, did. Aaron. Aaron named after his shver before his father. He was punished for that. Naming his okay, whatever, but saying, but you don't see, you know, it's not clear exactly when it started this whole naming after business. That's all. I think that's what Naftali's Kavona was. But is this, the, is this the Ben Durasai of like Michael Ben Durasai? Or that's a different. It's spelled uh, differently. That's, I think, with a Samach. That's with a Samach. I would hope not, because Dusoy, Michael Ben Dusoy were Ganovim. So I hope this wasn't him. <laughs> I, I don't right? know what the, the coming Gemara is going to be, but. Uh... Oh, so it's an interesting Gemara. Yeah, it's a very interesting Gemara. So again, Tanya Yehuda Ben Dusoy Pirish, Huva Dusoy Benoy, Vahalach Vyosho Badarim, they went to the south. Omar, and they said, Im Yova Yelio. I mean, you could see this Misa happening with Manazer. Somebody decides he has a Shita, his own Shita, and he's going against the grain. He says, if Elio would come for Yomer Lehem to Yisrael, and he would tell Klai Yisrael, Nei Malay Chagagdem Chagiga B'Shabbos, how come you didn't go to the Florida? It's, he went south to, to Eilat, Ms. Oh, he went no? to Eilat, even worse. Yeah, I mean, I mean, whatever, south, far away from Yerushalayim, that's the point. Some say he left Yerusha, uh, Eretz Yisrael totally. Right? How come Kla Yisrael didn't bring the Chagiga on Shabbos? What is Kla Yisrael going to tell Elio? Right? 
Yeah, al shnei hador. This is again. This is this is Rabbi Yehuda ben Dusai talking. It's I'm wondered, or I don't know how you type that. Whatever. Um, it's a wonder to me on the shnei gedolei hador. Astonished. Astonished. There you go. Tomorrow, right? Shehin chachamim gedolim. They're they're chachamim gedolim. Vertashinon gedolim, and they're big darshaners. And they didn't paskin that you should bring a carbon chagiga on Shabbos. So meaning they held that you should bring a carbon chagiga on Shabbos. And since that year was like this year, Shabbos was falling out, Arapesa was falling out on Shabbos. So they didn't want to go against. They couldn't bring, they couldn't go to the base of Victor and say, hey, we hold you should bring the carbon chagiga. Right? So they just left to make themselves potter. That's what they did. So Omar Rav, my time at the Ben Dursoy, What's the reason? What does he hold? You should be bring a Pesach to Hashem. Right, the Pesach can only bring from from uh, sheep and goats. So what are you saying to bring it from Bakar? And it says you should bring the Pesach, meaning that the Chagiga and the Pesach are the same thing. So it should be Daicha Shabbos. Right, so that's yeah, so. why they that's why they held once so that's why they held that it's the total equivalent of carbon pesach, sort of like ben Tema, the chayra, and therefore it should be doicha shabbos. Although it seems like ben Tema held it's not doicha shabbos, right? So they're taking ben Tema's opinion that was from Ahmed Aleph and they're, they're taking it a step further and they're saying it's mamish, it should even be doicha shabbos. What are but, you saying? But less also, I Walker. heard, I mean, I don't know, if, I don't know, but I heard that this. Choshiva people, Choshiva Yerushalmis, that they leave, they go wherever the Tchum is, so they should, Erev Pesach now, because in case of this child, should be, you should be Makrov, as man as it, I'll be Potter, because I'll be Derek Lechaika. That's what I heard. I don't know. The what? The what? Choshiva Yerushalmis, Erev yeah. Pesach, go out of Yerushalayim for a few hours. Because in case you talk a chayif to bring the Pesach now, they're not bringing it. So they put themselves in a derech or a chayka, and then they're part of Yeah, That's what I heard. I, Interesting. Yeah. Wow. Um, interesting. I never heard that. Okay, but that's, a, but that's basically what he did here. So, and his reason was because this, it's exactly like the Pesach. What do you say? This Ben Zertoy is learning from the Pesach to Shikla's era. He's learning it's exactly like the carbon Pesach, but Bakar is Mutter. Ah, you mean how can it be Bakar? Yeah. Yeah. I don't know. I guess it's not exact. I guess it's not a guy here. It's the third sheet that we have here. Right. I guess that's a good point. That's a good point. Yeah, very good. Okay, whatever it is, that was his Taina. So Rav Ashi, not time of the Prushim Neikov and Nefrash, the Prushim, who they were, Prushim means the separatists, I guess, right? These two who decided to separate from the rest of Klai Yisrael, we need to explain their reasons, right? Meaning, why do we have to, right? Rashi says, why, the, why, the, um, this is Rashi in the last in line, v'chilakach v'tzrachnu lidrish ha-mekrois achatame magdilam enachachamim, do we need to try and explain? Why are you explaining the Pasuk? I mean, why is the Gemara asking, how do they learn Pshat? Right? This is very strong. It's like, why do we have to look to, to explain these people's opinions that are naked, Shmayan of Talian, and the rest of Kla Yisrael? Right? Was, it's a very, very Was strong. Rashi writing the Gemara at the time he said this? Didn't he write I the Gemara? Know. Ravina I, Ravina, I she wrote the Gemara, no? Correct, yes. Okay. I don't get whatever it is. This is what he said, right? So again, Banan time of the Prushim Nekov and Nifrash, we have to go explain. Ella Krolok and Rav Nachman who does that Pasuk's coming from Nachman. Don't worry, Nachman. I'm a Rav Baravu. Minayin Lemaiser Apesach Shakar of Shlomin. How do we know that the, an extra carbon Pesach is brought to Shlomin? So now this is a case where somebody lost this carbon Pesach and he brought a different carbon Pesach and then he found the original carbon Pesach. So then that gets a din of a shlamim, right? Or somebody decided to be makdash money for a Pesach and then the prices went down. Let's say you decide, okay, I'm, I'm taking a hundred bucks for carbon Pesach and then the prices went down to 80 bucks. So he had $20 extra. 
right? So then that money goes to a shlomim. That's what Rashi says. Those are the two cases. So how do we know that the extra Pesach money becomes a shlomim? Right? It says you bring a Pesach to Hashem. Right? It says, and why are you saying Bakar for? It has to be brought from Kvasim and Izim. No, the extra Pesach money can be brought from anything. It doesn't have to necessarily be like the carbon Pesach. It could even be from Tzayin and Bokor. Right? So then the Gemara has a different cash of the Rabbanon and the Rabbanon who held that it's not Doich in my time of the Shabbos. So Vade Korban Sibur, who it's a carbon Sibur. Right? carbon Sibur should be Doich. Right? Meaning even though each person has to do it, it's still considered a carbon Sibur. We said last week also. That uh, the carbon pesach is really considered a carbon sibur, even though it's on, even even though everybody themselves has to bring it, but it's considered a carbon sibur. And we know that a carbon sibur yamakr. So Amar Rabbi Loi, Mishum Rabbi Yehuda ben Safra, Amar Krav Chagoy Zemoy Zechag Lashem Shivas Yamim Bashana. It says you should bring a Chag Lashem seven days in a year. Shiva, what do you mean seven days? Shmai Nahava Yom Tov's eight days, right? It's eight days. Um. So Elamikan No, it's not Shabbos. So therefore, it's only brought. It's only brought. Not, it's not brought on Shabbos, right? Um, meaning, it's talking about Shmini uh, Atzeres also, not not necessarily Pesach. Chagigah was brought on all the all the days, all the Yom Tov, Shuas, Pesach, and and uh, Sukkot. So you see, it says seven days, so therefore it's not Doich Shabbos. Because one, if it's eight day Yom Tif, one day is for sure Shabbos. Right? So Ki Asa Ravin, Omar, Amarti Lefnei Rabbi Say, I said in front of Rabbi and Pa'om, Shi'i Maitza El Ashisha, sometimes you only find it six days. You're going Shachal Yom Tif, Arishan Shachag B'Shabbos. If the first day of Yom Tif is on Shabbos, so then there's only six days to bring the carbon, not not even seven days, because if the first day is on Shabbos, that means the eighth day is on Shabbos, and so there's two days of Shabbos, so therefore he only gets six days. Right? He's just bringing a technical point. And now this next thing, uh, I mean, this, this, and this is uh, this next line in the Gemara. Omar Abaya, Avin, right, He's, that's, which is the word for Ravin, 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 Tichla, right, the childless Avin, Milsa, did he really say these things? Right? Um, Rashi says that he was that he's buried his kids in his lifetime. So this is so Abai had a cash on him. He said, Did this person who, who doesn't have kids really say something like this? In eight days you can never have the Khagiga. Shiva, Isa Baraif Shanam. In most years it's seven, but yes, there are years that there could be six. Right, so therefore, it's not it's not a ha'ara, it's not a ha'ara. Yes, nobody, it's no chiddush. Meaning, of course, yes, some years it's going to be six. So he therefore he called him. I'm assuming this wasn't a positive thing that he called him that. Right, I don't know. Is it positive? It's a mitzias. I don't know. Whatever it is, he was Babai is saying, yeah, and a chanami. It's love dafka. Why why are you why are you splitting hairs? No reason to split hairs. So basically, the chagig cannot be brought on Shabbos. In some years it only has seven day option, and some years it could even have a six day option if the first day is is on Yom Tiv. Okay, I guess we'll stop here. Fine. Um, okay, relatively uh, easy, easy. Blah. Yeah. Anyways, the next the next few weeks it's gonna be there's gonna be crazy schedules for me with the whole right. time. So because I got a ne- two nephews getting married with Shavu Brachas and this and that, so I'm gonna have to adjust with the time. That so means gonna- earlier or later. Could be earlier, could be later. No, Whatever no, works maybe. worse for you. We'll try and throw in a later for you, Naftali. <laughs> oh, gosh. We <laughs> went and we pushed it you, off. That's what we do. That's what Naftali, we talk about. That's Naftali, what Naftali why, why don't you drive him to Yaakov to the Chasnas? Then you could learn with him in the car. I, I have no problem. There I have no problem, but the, I'd have to kick Liner out of this car. I would say, hey, 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 hey. hey, hey, hey. Why isn't it enough? Why isn't enough? Tully uh, plan the chasana and then he could schedule around that. There you go. Right? Maybe one day. Right. right. There you public, go. public service announcement. Public service announcement. It's going to be a big storm. They say starting Sunday night. Okay, so therefore the daf will be on Zoom, not in person. <laughs> <laughs>
<laughs> Where? <laughs> Where is the storm? Oh, I don't Not know. Not by you. Is. Not by you. <laughs> yeah, it Even hasn't the... stopped snowing here for the last two months. Hey, I didn't tell you to what move is... out there. What? What snow? <laughs> There's like eight inches coming to New York. Oh, snow yeah, was uh, like, wow. Yuri was like in the past. It's like, it looked like snow is something that comes out of the sky. It looks like mun. Oh, it looks like mun. Oh, okay, fine. Uh, I would yeah, say yeah. more like... Uri, how do you like your weekend? It's going to be coming on stuff. Monday. It's going to be coming on Monday. I'll tell you, I didn't Monday. see a lot of New Yorkers because uh, uh, uh. nobody came to Boca. They all went to Orlando. Oh. Uh, <laughs> snow is sort of like dandruff, if you're really not sure. It looks like dandruff. I don't know if you have dandruff because you don't have dry skin down there either. So I'm not sure what. Uh... You have eight feet of dandruff. You have real issues. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um... All right. All right. Um... And Paris, thanks for the thanks for the toy today. I thought it was going to be like a blow up something, and then it turns out to be another weapon. Listen, that's what everybody asked me. I said it's a weapon. Don't worry. <laughs> <laughs> a twelve foot weapon. Parrots must be into war. Right. Harris, you must have been really struggling with some of tonight's stuff. How could they do anything else but roast meat? Who boils yeah. meat? Very good. What kind of Shiloh is that? That's true, right. by the way. But it was too feed. It wasn't just like boiled. No, but then you roast it. Ay, ay, ay. All right, I'm shutting it down because he's starting his shear soon. All right, I get the vach. Yashikayuk. <laughs>